What up, Hoopers? Let's go to the D2 level. Talk about why Laquan Butler is going to make a real good pro. One of the things I like most about Laquan is his ability to touch the paint. Laquan uses the tight handle and a good change of pace to make it tough on defenders at the point of attack. At the pro level, one of your individual matchup is key. So if you have a guard who can put two feet in the paint on any given possession, that's real valuable. Now let's get into his court vision. Here's a side pick and roll. Defenders are going to down the screen. Watch him read the tag defender and immediately shoot that hook pass to the opposite corner. Gets his teammate a good look. Watch here in this pick and roll clip. He's going to string the defender out, but his eyes are still up. Reading the defense, throws a nice pass where only his teammate can get it and finish it. When playmaking in the pick and roll, Laquan shows really good patience, surveys the defense, makes accurate passes, can make a variety of passes in the pick and roll. But I've noticed a lot of times all his teammates have to do is catch and shoot or catch and finish. Advancing the ball up the court is one thing he does really well. As soon as he gets the outlet, his eyes are up, hitting teammates in stride as they streak down the floor. Butler, pass inside to Haynes. It's can I think his most valuable asset is his shot making. He's shooting 40% from three on the season and he's ranked in the 99th percentile per synergy in all spot up possessions, which shows that he can shoot off the ball. He shows to be a solid movement shooter, whether it's relocating or coming off a variety of screens. He's comfortable in both roles. And then lastly, he's shown that he can make shots off the bounce. His ability to make shots off the catch and off the bounce, along with his ability to touch the paint, will make Laquan a very good pro.